the new stuff is is all owned in-house it's on all that remains records uh and so it just took us a while to get everything together but with the new people that we have with jason writing so much and with anthony um you know we really got the we had license to really push musically what we could do and jason was a fan of all that remains when he was young um like he i mean hopefully he's still a fan now but he was like <laughs> when he was a kid like he he loved the fall of ideals and and the overcome record and and those were really formative for him um so when he, him and ollie we did a tour with born of osiris in like 2011 and him and ollie hit it off and they became friends and you know whenever they could get together and talk or whatever they, they were buddies so when ollie passed away jason was like hey you know would you like me to to fill in and we were like well we would actually like more than for you to fill in because <laughs> ollie had said um he's like look if, they, if anything ever happened to me i would want jason to be the guy he's like you know He's like he's the best guitar player. He actually in the world said, right he now. said that while he was still with us. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They they were buddies. You know, like I said, they were buddies, and yeah. And Ollie was a big fan, and he was just like, look, you know. And of course, when you know when people say that kind of stuff, you don't think about it. You know, it's not like, of course, not. oh, you know, well, maybe something will happen to you. <laughs> you know, that's like you don't think that kind of stuff. No, yeah, you, you don't want to put that in the universe, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> but but the fact that he said it. You know, and and when Jason was like, hey, you know, if you want me to fill in, I was like, I was like, dude, like, if you want, like, the spot is yours because you're the guy that Ollie wanted. Like, mm -hmm. Ollie said, if, he, if anything ever happened, you're the guy that he would want to replace him. So, like, if you want it, it's yours. And he was like, yeah. And so, you know, we got our, got our ducks in a row and we started writing music for this release. I think we started, we did, we did Divine first jason gave that to us at like at like at the very end of 2021 2022 okay. is when i went and wrote the like in february 2022 like right around the same time that i started with the with tim cast with the uh the podcast i went out to la and and me and josh wilbur took a couple of the songs that jason had give us and given us and, and started working on those and uh as soon as we got divine done lyrically and got the the vocals tracked everyone in the band was like hey i think we got something special here like we feel really good about the way it sounds and then we started to push a little bit more to get things to start to get more stuff and 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 get it out and because of the the you know the fact that all that remains fans are so so wonderful and and have supported us so much like we were able to do it in little bits and little bites and i would go to la and do two or three songs and come back to you know come back home and and we weren't under the gun the way a lot of bands are you know i mean you guys you guys know what it's like when when you have to pump records out and stuff and when you don't have to it's like you know it's like thank goodness i'm not <laughs> i'm not under the gun it's a young man's deadline. game phil that's a young man's game we don't have exactly. to do that shit no more <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> you know you know exactly what i'm talking about